Well, the hot and sunny holiday weekend, what better place to spend it than the beach? But as 12 News reporter Alex Torres Perez shows us, some changes are coming as state beaches enter the off season. Alex. Labor Day weekend marks the official end of the summer season, meaning state beaches will be closed. And though you can still stop by, you'll notice some changes in the off season. Hot sand, beach towels, and umbrellas as far as the eye can see. It was a busy holiday weekend over at Scarborough State Beach. But for some, it was their last beach day of the season. Summer should go on forever. Maddox Schumer's mother says lifeguards are the main reason she goes to state beaches. But with students heading back to school, the Department of Environmental Management says they don't have enough people to keep watch. The waves being like this, I don't feel very comfortable coming back without the lifeguards here. For others, the off season is the perfect time to head to the coast because it's less busy. It's just a more chill vibe. Uh, obviously, with no lifeguards on, you always, even, even when during the season when there are lifeguards, we always make sure our kids are like in front of us. Like they know the rules, like they can't go past a certain point, you know, respect the waves. But it doesn't matter whether we have lifeguards here or not. They're our children. They're our responsibility to watch them. With the hot weather expected to continue this week, the DEM is expecting people to still flock to the beach. That's why they will be posting signs reminding people there will be no lifeguards on duty. Rangers and restroom attendants will also no longer be there, but Porta Johns are available at most state beaches. The DEM says they'll be keeping all gates and parking lots open as long as there's no extreme weather, meaning more time for you to enjoy the sun. I think that everybody should have a great tan by the end of this. The DEM's Park and Recreation Division will start winterizing and closing pavilions tomorrow. Reporting in Scarborough Beach, Alex Torres Perez, 12 News. Katie, thank you. Let's give you a love, another live look here at Narragansett Town Beach. As Katie mentioned, a lot of people still at the beach. This is the last day. It's going to be fully staffed. 12 News reporter Alex Torres Perez spoke to a local restaurant on what they're expecting during the off season. Alex. Thousands of people are taking advantage of this hot and sunny Labor Day weekend to go to the beach. But with the summer off season ahead, businesses are preparing for a drop in customers. Uh, craziness. <laughs> That's how manager Amanda Mavick describes a typical summer day at the restaurant she's managed for the last 25 years. Nonstop activity all the time. I mean, people always ordering food and everybody coming and going. So it's extremely busy, yes. But that could soon taper off as the Department of Environmental Management starts to close down state beaches to prepare for the winter. Uh, the off season can be up and down. You know, it's very weather dependent. Um, you know, like this coming week supposed to be in the 80s, so we'll still be busy even though school started. Some frequent beachgoers already know they're returning to the coast on the off season. And we know how fast summers go, so anytime it's nice, we try to get down there. And Mabick says she'll be ready to feed any hungry visitors. March till December, seven days a week. The DEM is asking people who plan on stopping by the beach during the off season to swim at their own risk. That's because there won't be any lifeguards on duty. Reporting in Scarborough State Beach, Alex Torres Perez, 12 News.